Philly man, I guess. Nigga. Let's talk about talk about the it. news of the week. Let's talk about the news of the week. Let's not even bury Yo. the motherfucking lead any, hey, any, any hey, longer. Hey, you feel me? You know what hey. niggas is here for. Hey, you know what on, niggas is here for. What they say on Black Wrestling Podcast? Show it to them. Show it to them. <laughs> Show it to them. <laughs> Bow. Look at this nigga, man. Look, Look at that. this nigga. Big E is your WWE champion. Ah, uh, here in my eye. How do y'all feel, man? Chat, how do y'all feel? Frenemies, how do y'all feel? You feel me? Oh. How do y'all feel? Well deserved, much deserved. Ben, floor is yours. I was I saw him tweet like earlier in the day. He was like, yo, I'm coming after Bobby Lashley. I'm gonna cash in on him tonight. And obviously, like being someone who watches Monday Night Raw. Or, like, little surprises and shit like this. Like, we're on, like, that mindset of this is going to be a swerve. Some shit's going to happen. He's not going to really get the title. Yeah. We all think it's going to be some weird shit that's going to happen. Especially with him coming out there and be like, yeah, I'm going to beat Joe ass. I'm going to beat Joe ass. At the end of the night, take championship. I don't give a fuck who it is. And then to have him come out there and actually cash in and actually win and actually get that moment with his friends and have like an actual celebration like Kofi got to have, it was beautiful. Couldn't happen to a better guy. And especially seeing him as like a different kind of black man than Bobby. He's it feels <laughs> different because I can relate to I can relate more so to B, not saying I can't relate to um Bobby Lashley because you know I'm built like that. <laughs> but but be, I can relate to Big E as like a black man of being like, yo, my Eve, daddy bro. a preacher too. Dang, exactly, bro. <laughs> my daddy a preacher too. Like, bro, I like cereals and the splits. Being able, being able to like oh be goofy, joke around like we do yeah. on here, and then when it's time to get serious, you can flip that. Sh- you can flip that switch like at the drop of a dime and do what needs to be done. And I feel Big E on that. So to see him get his moment, especially with with them, and they didn't turn on each other, and none of that shit you weird ass niggas wanted. Oh, he need to turn on. Um, he got to turn on Kofi and Woods. He got to join the Hurt Business and this and that. It's like why can't he just win the championship no, and be supported by his friends? If Graham won. If Graham won the <laughs> WWE Championship tomorrow, what do you think I'm gonna do? Hit him in the back of the head with a chair? No, be, I'm gonna no. support you, my you nigga. Might, you might, you might, because I'm just saying, like I'm the I'm the public enemy number one. Y'all, look, y'all niggas, look, you feel me? I'm just, look, I'm just saying. All. We got predictions next week, but you for me for now, I'm still that guy. Hey, you feel me? I'm still that guy. Champion. Hey, you could put that motherfucker on as much as you want, hey, Will Ospreay. Like that is telling me shit. <laughs> Yo. Hey, bro, do not call me white belly, all right? I, I, do we have another? Is, is there another uh, uh, real black champion? You feel me? That that's you feel me that we could refer to. That was like, nah, I'm the real champ. Like, who's the who's the black um, nigga that was like, nah, you the fake champion? I'm the real champion. You let um, me know. He, I mean, it was a wrestler, but he's not really a black. He's an animal. So um, don't want to be that guy. So yeah, just put it down. Taz? Ah, man, all right, check this out. Let's go oh, to it real quick. I'm gonna play the video and then Jizzle. Give us your thoughts on what happened here in this moment. How do you feel, brother? <laughs> I got chill. Well, you know, hey, nigga, this shit was so important, nigga, that I knew it was already going to happen because, you know what I'm saying, fuck you, Xfinity. You know what I'm saying? I had to wait till 
1058 to see this. But uh, I even knew what was going to happen, and I still stayed up. That's how important it was, nigga. Like, oh, my God, I was just so excited. Did the same exact thing like this when Kobe won. I was like, try to hold back the man tears. Cause that shit is important. Exactly. Hold on, let's let's let's, let's get this let's get this up here real quick. Yeah, the best Monday ever. Yeah, cause you know we fresh. You say this is fresh off the W. You feel me? And then I went into Big E. You know what I'm saying? Harassing these niggas all night. You know what I'm saying? Great Monday. Great Monday. Best Monday ever. Yeah, man. The way that the Big E um, title win was received by the wrestling community and not only WWE wrestlers, but people just across the entire spectrum of the industry. Like it was generally received with welcoming arms and everybody congratulating him. And exactly the first time a black champion lost to a black uh, challenger. You feel me? Like this is the first time that a title has changed hand the w, the WWE championship changed yeah. hands from a black man to a black man and, and the third time they've ever had two black men in WWE wrestle for a world championship I'm glad that you added that uh, that that little caveat of uh, you feel me in WWE because you never know where the fuck Moose is lurking with oh, his uh, opinions and shit. Remember that time? Remember that time? Hey, y'all, y'all need to do your research, man. Remember that time? I fought, I fought, nigga. I fought, uh, nigga. I fought, uh, you know, I fought that one nigga in the bathtub that time. You know what I'm saying? He looked like, like, bro. He looked like we got. He looked like we got Terry Crews at home, bro. That's what Moose looked like. <laughs> you no, know, Moose looked like the black version of the Shredder when he took his helmet off, nigga. Like that's exactly who he looked like. This is the W. Uh, this is the WWE Championship title win by Big E. This, this, this is how the black wrestling Twitter community feels. This is how we all feel in this moment. You feel me? This is, this is the moment. Now look around you. Look at this. We created this. This didn't exist before we were here. Look around at the square. I promise you right now, we did this. Doesn't matter what anybody says. They can say it's disrespectful. They can say it's this and that. And that. Everybody's within. Everybody's within the rules. Everybody's doing their thing. All we are is proud and passionate. Let us have this moment. I don't want y'all to all lives matter this shit. I don't want y'all to be like, well, you know. He's not. He, he, y'all putting him yeah. in a box as a black man, like, bro. That's what he is, nigga. Do, 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 do. Did you have you not listened to the podcast when they literally had a whole ass episode about being black men in America? You talking about I'm putting him in a box? Man, get oh. the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you, you you're not supposed to do that. I don't care if you're yellow hey, or bro. green. Like, but I don't know a yellow or a green nigga yet. You know what I'm saying? Now, have you ever called? What was you? And if you haven't if seen you one, yellow, not a if one. You, if you've seen a yellow and a green nigga, you you will be calling them a, 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 probably a nigga too. So don't don't that even, nigga got don't jaundice, even, bro. Yeah, That's man. funny as fuck. Niggas got smallpox and shit. But nigga, like, don't even <laughs> like don't man, even. If you, you got smallpox in the year of our <laughs> Lord 2021, you can you probably deserved it. You probably hey, did. Bro, how did you, hey, you? You definitely went to the fucking the 707 lounge or something. Stop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> WWE changed their uh, their Twitter name to Big E is WWE Champion last night. Of course, at the strike of midnight, like fucking Cinderella shoe, nigga, they snatched that shit back and was like, yeah, nigga, it's WWE. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, no one man keep, is above the like, Yo, this shit, uh, yo, this shit keep on, but we got to take this shit down, bro. <clears throat> you know what niggas is calling for? A call. You know what niggas is calling for? Niggas is calling for the New Day versus the Bloodline. Bruh, I'm here Y'all think this would be a good one? The New Day, the Bloodline? Get it popping. Get it yanking. Survivor I'm Series? Here for it. And the, the other thing... War Games! Trying, <laughs> the other thing they were talking about doing is... War Games. Putting the, putting the Hurt Business back together, because apparently that's what MVP is talking about doing. About putting the hurt business back together and having hurt business versus the new day. Well, um, MVP was just posted on his Instagram on a plane next to Shelton Benjamin. Yep. Business discussions or whatever, you know what I'm saying? With an old friend. Yada, yada, yada. And um, Big E made a statement saying, like, yo, it would be cool for the new day and the hurt business to go 
have a match against each other. I was like, bro. War games. Do it. Me. Because do, it. Uh, do you think War Games is going to stay in NXT now that they've done like the little update and everything? Possibly, maybe, maybe not. However, I'm not sure like how possible um a hurt business reunion is and we can go ahead and transition here to small package news because uh let's start here the wwe draft was just announced no <clears throat> oh yeah bobby, bobby for sure going over to smackdown october the first it's a wrap. starts on smackdown and then of course concludes on october the fourth on usa for raw 